again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am playing along with the lovely JQ Crafty on YouTube, and she is, does a product focus Friday. And June is all about Coco Vanilla Studio, baby. And I am loving that, so I decided I was going to play along. And she also wanted to focus on fussy cutting, so I'm going to fussy cut a whole bunch of butterflies for this layout. But I am going to try to use up some more of my Coco Vanilla Studio Unforgettable collection. Pulled in some cardstock, and I'm just going to um, pull in some of those little cardstocks. Now, off screen, I went ahead and fussy cut out that entire little thing of butterflies, and you can see them to the right of my layout. This is my fiancé and his daughter at a track meet, and I believe this is the one where she got first place all around. Um, she's a fast little girl, so he was really proud. Uh, he said it was kind of cool to like hear his name over the loudspeaker being in first place. So uh, I do double matte that in a dark pink and then a light pink. Anytime I can use uh, girly, layout, girly colors and do a layout about her, I absolutely adore it because it's really hard to do so. I do just pull in all these little scraps that I have left over from prior layouts. Uh, you know, I don't keep the scraps unless I have it still kitted together in its collection, and then I use it in little areas like this. Once I no longer have any 12 by 12, all of these will, will have been tossed away, but I'm getting them used. I was thinking about fussy cutting that card out, but I did change my mind. I do like two little wonky pattern paper layers behind my photo that I didn't trim down at all. It's still a four by six. And we get that stuck in there. I do want to make sure that it is straight and I line that up with the picture, not my crazy, awful, crooked, fussy cut. I do forget. I remember that I needed to cut the border strip off just so I didn't uh, forget and then have all kinds of stuff on there. So I'm going to take these three that I had used in a previous layout and cut in half. Sorry guys, my dog is sleeping under my desk and dreaming and her tail keeps wagging and she's dreaming and it's cracking me up. Sorry. And since I had used them and previously cut them in half for something else, I just go ahead and layer them up at the top for a little cluster. And now I'm going to start gluing on all of these butterflies and I'm going to make them explode from the bottom left of the page all the way up to the top. And I basically kind of put them either flying up or at an angle and just try to spread the color out as much as possible. I do bend them there, as you can see, um, just to give the wings a little bit of a lift. I do understand that once it goes into my lay my albums, it's going to get squished back down. <laughs> but for the moment, it's a very dimensional, fun layout, and I absolutely love it. I do use all of them. It did take me a while to fussy cut them, and then I was all excited and thought I had them done. Moved some paper and found a handful more, and I was like, oh, I have to just cut these two. Um, but this was, I had cut a whole sheet. Um, this collection comes with a whole sheet of these little butterflies, and I have two of them. So this is one whole sheet fussy cut, and I absolutely love the way this tore out. This turns out, not tore out. Um, so while I'm getting this on there, I do want to remind you that I will have links to anyone that's playing along for the Product Focus Friday listed in the description box below. Go see what they used and created, um, what they fussy cut, and what Coco Vanilla Studio collection they used. I love watching Jackie's videos um, and have been wanting to play along for months now. But it, but it was like everything she chose, I was like, why do I not have that in my stash? There was Bella Boulevard, and I didn't have that. There was Heidi Swap, and I was like, I don't have, like, I have um, Bella Boulevard. I have, like, a few things, but I was like, I really don't know if I could make a whole layout using just Bella Boulevard. And then the Heidi Swap, I'm like, well, I have mixed media, but then what else do I use? I mean, I was, like, riding the struggle bus. <laughs> I get all of those put on and finally glued down. So then I take that six by 12 sticker sheet and take some of these fun little words and sprinkle them in and around all of the butterflies. As I'm coming to the end of the collection, you will see there's only, I believe, 
three more. I'm counting. I only have four more sheets left. And this thing came with like doubles of each. Hold on. Hold, please. I'm looking to see if I can find the branding strip for it. It came with uh, 18 pages. And I've only got four left. But I, I've been kind of greedy and not cutting them up. So, I feel like I've made a lot. I do take my pink G2 gel pin and just write the date up there saying May 2021. I take these two tags, pop them down underneath the picture. I did put that little heart banner piece up at the top as well. And now I'm going to make the sequins ex or the, the butterflies explode with sequins. So, all the gaps in between all the butterflies, I'm going to fill with this. Um, close to my heart bluebell collection and it's got some iridescence some of the bluebell color some silver some white it's got stars uh, shiny silver dull silver I mean it's like it's really pretty and I just take my little Amazon picker there I don't know what it's called but that was me showing you I'm going to do it all and if you can see it's all done uh, I am trying to use up my Wink Stella brushes um, they're starting to dry up. I've had them for like 10 years and yes, they are starting to dry up and I think I'm just spoiled with the close to my heart shimmer brushes. So these aren't very shimmery, which they're just supposed to be just a little twinkle and I like want a lot of shimmery. So I'm like, that's what I'm used to. So I just take the, this pink one that I have, squeeze it on my block and just, you know, splatter it about the page. Um, I do add just a little bit more of the black because I started to realize that it could look like the butterflies may have been massacred with all the dark pink, almost red splatters everywhere. So I start adding a lot of this silver color. Um, I did cover up my photo there with just some of the packaging and I really like the way it looks pull off the packaging and now I'm going to go ahead and put my title on. I did pull some stickers out of my um, stash there and it's just going to say race time. I totally forgot that I even had these little black and white ones and the gray one I believe is from, oh, I have it right here. It's a hip kit club exclusive um, summer bliss and I have probably had these for several years when I was first a member of the Hip Kit Club, which I am, again, a member of the Hip Kit Club because I loved them so much um, back then. And I've received three kids now. I'm super excited. <laughs> and then these little guys right here, I picked them up from the dollar store. And they are the super stickiest stickers in the entire world. And so I just go ahead and put time on there. And that is pretty much going to do it for my layout, you guys. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to check everybody else who's playing along. And I will see you guys again tomorrow for another video. Bye.